राष्ट्र दिवस समापन समारोह के अवसर पर राजपथ पर विजय चौक से मैं मनीषा दुबे अपने साथी कमेंटेटर विंग कमांडर कफिल बख्शी के साथ दूरदर्शन की तरफ से आपका स्वागत करती हूँ आज यह मौसम ठंडा ठंडा सा है तेज ठंडी हवा माननीय प्रधानमंत्री स्वतंत्र बिहारी वाजपेयी बधा चुके हैं इस गरिमा में कार्यक्रम में शिरकत करने के लिए और उनकी अगवानी की जा रही है आज यहाँ का मौसम खुशनुमा सा है गोधूरी बेला है पीली पीली सुनहरी धूप जैसे विजय पथ पर उपर आई हो शायद गवाह करना चाहती हूँ समारोह को अपार जन समूह है यहाँ पर और काफी उत्साहित है आंखों में इंतजार का इजहार साफ दिखाई दे रहा है उनके साथ में उनकी पत्नी और ये है साउथ ब्लॉक जिसमें प्रधानमंत्री कार्यालय रक्षा मंत्रालय और विदेश मंत्रालय है इन भव्य इमारतों का डिजाइन सर एडविन लुटियंस ने और लॉरेंस बेकर ने तैयार किया था और दूर से बीएसएफ का ऊंट दस्ता पंक्तिबद्ध नजर आ रहा है और ये नॉर्थ ब्लॉक जहां पर गृह मंत्रालय है वित्त मंत्रालय है लाल बालू पत्थर से बनी हुई ये इमारत एक तस्वीर सी नजर आ रही है जैसे किसी चित्रकार ने एक तस्वीर सी बना दी हो तेज हवा से ये झंडे तेजी से फहरा रहे हैं ये जो समापन धुन है ये बजाना सदियों पुरानी उन दिनों की सैन्य परंपरा है जब सूर्यास्त होने पर सेना युद्ध करना बंद कर देती थी और भव्य इमारत संसद भवन जहां पर इस देश के अहम निर्णय लिए जाते हैं और ऊपर गर्व से तिरंगा लहराता हुआ आकाश की बुलंदियों को छूने की कोशिश समापन धुन की जो ये परंपरा है बहुत ही पुरानी सैन्य परंपरा है जैसे ही वापसी की धुन बचती थी सैनिक युद्ध करना बंद कर देते थे अपने शस्त्र समेट कर युद्ध स्थल से वापस चले जाते थे वापसी पर ध्वज और पताकाएं खोलकर रख दी जाती थी झंडे उतार दिए जाते थे और ड्रम वादन की जो परंपरा है वो बहुत ही प्राचीन परंपरा है जब कस्बों और शहरों में रहने वाले सैनिकों को शाम के वक्त में एक निर्धारित समय पर बुलाया जाता था उपशाह नारायणन जी महामहिम राष्ट्रपति महोदय की पत्नी श्रीमती उषा नारायणन इस भारत की प्रथम महिला तो इन्हीं सैन्य परंपराओं पर आधारित ये समापन समारोह हमें पुराने समय में ले जाता है जयपुर स्तंभ जी हां महाराजा जयसिंह द्वारा उपहार में दिया गया था जब ये इमारतें बन रही थी और ये राष्ट्रपति भवन का गुंबद जो सांची के स्तूप से प्रेरित है उसी पर आधारित ये बनाया गया है सच पूछा जाए तो भारतीय वास्तुकला इतनी खूबसूरत है कि सर लुटियंस और बेकर भी उसे बहुत प्रभावित हुए और ये इमारतें इनमें बौद्ध हिंदू इस्लाम इन सब की वास्तुकला है मिश्रित बुर्जियां और मीनारें जो यहां से दिख रही हैं और छतरियां इस्लामिक वास्तुकला का प्रभाव है गुंबद बौद्ध वास्तुकला का और स्तंभ हिंदू वास्तुकला का थैंक यू मनीषा द ग्रैंड सेरेमनी बीटिंग रिट्रीट इज अबाउट टू बिगिन एज मनीषा हैड ऑलरेडी टोल्ड अस द वेरियस डिग्नेटरीज द थ्री आर्मी चीफ द defense minister the vice president have and prime minister have all arrived awaiting the arrival of the president who is also the supreme commander of indian armed forces from the days of egyptian and sumerian civilization the royal fighting forces developed their own musical establishments groups and ensembles which played on various occasions these groups played on departure of fighting troops to war these played prior to the soldiers making a charge at the enemy and most crucial of them all while welcoming the victorious armies back home from the battle the bands played number of tunes 
in the honor of the head of the state who offered the officers and men awards and battle honors and thereafter the troops re retreated to the barracks to the roll of the drums and this return of the troops to the drums came to be called beating retreat the today's ceremony is the inter-services ceremony and we can see now beneath the north block is a row of camels caparisoned in their regimental finery standing erect with their sawars there are five buglers a group of five buglers in four groups of four groups each on either side of the rajpath inter-services bugler who will play various fanfares before every tune and every item of the inter-services band a beautiful monument right in front is one of the canopies in front of the north and south block which has a mounted charger a, inf a cavalry charger fully decorated in his regimental finery and as we look down on the rise the rice in a rise we can see the president's bodyguard accompanying the head of the state president of india coming down the rajpath this ceremony is the inter-services ceremony conducted by the inter-services band in honor of the fighting troops. And this time, this year, a special honor is being given to the Braves of Kargil and band has created and written a number of tunes which shall be played this evening. Colonel Mali heading the President's bodyguard coming down with the President of India. And this is the fanfare heralding, heralding the arrival of the President. Today Vijay Chok will witness the ceremony of beating retreat. Integral part of the fighting forces are the camels and the horses and the president's bodyguard has got these famous chargers. Colonel Mali heading the president's bodyguard in front of him and the flags fluttering atop the lance of red and white indicating sacrifice and purity and this is the sight of two proud buglers heralding the arrival of the president beating retreat at Vijay Chowk is not only the final ceremony of the Republic Day celebrations but is also perhaps the most beautiful and spectacular of all the military ceremonies Conducted by the combined band of the three services, it reminds us of the sacrifices of the brave Jawans for the cause of the nation and glory of India. Very well trained, beautifully timed. The cavalry <coughs> conducts itself with perfect timing and precision. For the ceremonial occasion of this sort, it is mandatory that the training is absolutely perfect. The cavalry will halt in front of the president's gear. And as the president will take his place after being received, a Rashtra salute will be presented. The limousine comes to a halt. And the president now will be received by the dignitaries. The Prime Minister receives Vikya Narayanan. And he's being escorted to his seat. He greets the Vice President, the Three Services Chief. This proud commander of the business bodyguard, Colonel Mali, that is so direct, waiting for the Rashtra Sunni. When the band will strike the Rashtra salute, the national flag will be un unfurled. The timing is absolutely perfect. Right to the last second, the ceremony has to be conducted. And this is where the military precision is seen and appreciated. The Rashtra salute now.
his mounted guard, turn right and he will troop the president's bodyguard out and we'll wait for the ceremony to begin. The president is comfortable now and the ceremony is about to start. The evening breeze is fluttering down and the heat of the setting sun is still giving the warmth before the dis winter descends in all its complete chill. That's the aid we can. The president's bodyguard is now trooping out along with the band which played the Rashtriya. Salute. The special band for this occasion which plays the Rashtriya salute for the president of India. And this is the fanfare by the buglers for the entry of the mass band. And if we can, and if our ears can catch the sound, this is the sound of the mass bands with, which will play Veer Bharat for us. They are cascading, will cascade down the Rajpath and on the slopes, they will come down and halt at the end. The bands will play the number of tunes for us today after halting in front of the president's DS, the pipes and drums will march out and play various quick and slow marches and present melodious folk, folk tunes, Scottish reel and stats bass. The Navy and the Air Force Band will present a number of newly composed and famous tunes to quick and slow marches, including the blood racing gallop called Alert. And the Army Band will play newly composed tunes called Veer Kargil and Mushko Valley in the honor of the Kargil Braves and also the Ladakhi tune Siki Amole. And as a grand finale, the entire mass of three services band will march forward to the famous tune of Veer Gurkha. The band is now marching down and soon we'll catch the complete tune of Veer Bharat. Har saal ki tarah saal bhi Ganatantra Divas ka samapan samaroh manaya ja raha hai. Lagta hai jase Kargil se loti Vijay Sena ka samman Shano Shaukat aur Dhoom Dham se kiya ja raha ho. और अब वीर भारत तेज चाल से सूबेदार सेते द्वारा रचित यह धुन बहुत ही खूबसूरत है ट्यून कंपोजर सूबेदार सेते वीर भारत द ब्रेव इंडिया इंडीड द ब्रेवरी ऑफ इंडिया द इंडियन वॉरियर्स इज नोन टू ऑल एंड टुडे द बैंड विल रिगेल ऑल द स्टोरीज इन द म्यूजिकल आइटम्स of the stories of bravery and the sacrifice of the braves, soldiers, airmen and sailors in various battles and wars. The combined bands of army are from various regiment and regimental centers. They are the brass band, the pipe and drums. The naval band are from various naval establishment and two air force bands are also there. And these bands are totally brass bands. The pipes and drums are from the army in their various colors. In fact, once we see the uniform clearly, we can make out whether it's the artillery regimental center band or the Kamau or the Gurkha. The backdrop of 11 camels on both sides of the Rajpath and the band now formate, formating, making the complete formation. This center is portion is the army band, the army brass band in their scarlet and navy blue trousers and scarlet jacket. This is the Air Force band, total brass band. is a tune which inspires the soldiers to carry out the various activities of the battlefield and the totally inspiring tune has been composed by Subhidar Sete. Now is the turn of the band, pipes and drums, which will march out and play a number of 
Stead Space and Scottish Reel and this first tune is on a quick march the Pipers came. तेज चाल पे दी पाइपर्स के डब्ल्यू एम रोज द्वारा रचित ये धुन and breaks into a slow march my home This is Kedarnath, a quick march composed by Major Mansaram. The formation will meet India on the ground. Next is the Brigopath, a stretch bay composed by Captain John McLellan.
and with the kilt is my delight. The next one with the kilt is my delight, a reel composed by Angus Mackey. The pipes and drums played both Brigo Path and Kilt is my delight. They will turn back, make marching maneuvers to the delight of the crowd.
This is the famous Kadam Kadam Badhai Ja, a quick march composed by Sri L.B. Guru. The band, pipes and band, drums band is now proceeding back to join the main body and it will be the turn of the Navy and the Air Force band thereafter to come and march on to the Vijay Chowk. The Navy and Air Force Band will be heralded by a uh, fanfare Everest, composed by Master Warrant of the J. H. George. And thereafter, they will give us a number of quick and slow marches. The first will be the sound barrier, in the memory of the first pilot who went through the sound barrier. And Ma Master Warrant of the J. H. George was inspired by the poem, saying, slicing through the yonder skies, my joyous heart knows no bound, my spirit soars to the magnificent heights as I hurtle my jet through the wall of sound. We now await a fanfare and the sound barrier by Air Force and Naval Bands. And this is the fanfare Everest, a signal for the bands to prepare themselves for marching. और अगली धुन होगी साउंड बैरियर तेज चाल में स्वर्गीय एम डब्ल्यू ओ जे ए जॉर्ज वी एस एम द्वारा रचित ये धुन And here's the new number, Marching 2000, composed by Commander S. A. Anches. Quick march. Marching 2000, Tez Chalme, Swargi M. W. O. J. A. George. Quick march is composed by Commander S. A. Anchies, North in America.
air battle, a quick march composed by Lee, Master Warren of the Charge. बैटल तेज चाल स्वर्गीय एम डब्ल्यू ओ जे ए जॉर्ज वी एस एन द्वारा रचित ये धुन अब बजाई जा रही है naval and air bands are still marching on marching 2000 and thereafter they will break into slow march Jalpakshi. composed by Master Chief Petty Officer Jerome Rodericks, Jal Pakshi. Jal Pakshi Bhimi Chal Me Yidhun, SCPO Sangeet Jerome Rodericks, Dwara Rachit Yidhun. leader will now take his place in the rostrum and give us a gallop or alert composed by late master warrant of Jerry John. Alert a blood racing gallop by master warrant of the J. George.
अलर्ट सर पर चाल में ये धुन जिसका मतलब है सतर्कता band leader will now take his place and march off the entire column on a quick march trombone king and he'll join the main body on a quick march trombone king composed by KL King. Trombone King, Tez Charmi. That is the innovation by the thrill crowd. As one can see, the defense minister is beating with the team. Navy and Air Force bands are now joining the main column. They gave us a number of quick and slow marches, especially the new one, the Marching 2000. This will now be the turn of military bands. The brass band of Army will come out and give us a number of tunes, two of them newly made, composed after the Cargill operation. The ceremony has, is being appreciated by the honored guests. The Golden Trumpet Fanfare will herald in the Army Band and thereafter they will march in onto a quick march. The quick march will be Veer Kargil, composed by Major Nasir Hossain VSM. The Veer Kargil reminds us of the brave soldiers who have laid their life 
atop the Kargil and have sent a message home. And the poet says, Stop me not, oh stop me not, let me charge at the enemy, hold me not, oh hold me not, as I chase him beyond a territory. But return when you with my flag and gun to tell my people in on honesty that though I fell, I saved the flag and upon my lips my country. That is the Veer Kargil. ठंडक काफी है लेकिन उत्साहित दिलों में गर्माहट है वीर कारगिल को सुनकर स्फूर्ति का संचार हो रहा है इस जन समूह में That was Veer Kargil and another new tune, a slow march, Mushko Valley, composed by Major Nasir Hussain. Mushko Ghati Dhimi Chal Me, Major Nasir Hussain Dwara Rachit Yidhun. In honor of Veer Jat Soldier, a quick march, Veer Jat, composed by Major Bansara. Tez Jal Me Veer Jat, Major Bansara Dwara Rachit Yirkun.
the band leader will now take his place in front to render a echo siki amole a tune from the dark which will be echoed by trumpets from north and south block anugunj siki amole That was a haunting Sikhi Amole composed by L.B. Gurung. And with that, the band will march off to Sitare Hill, a quick march by Major Nasir Hussain. Sitare Hill, Tain Chan Yalab Sunindi, Major Nasir Hussain Baradachi.
as on band formation on his back with appreciation from the crowd. It will join the main body and after a fanfare, the entire column of all the bands, the Army, Navy and the Air Force band will march forward as one body and they will again give us a number of tunes making number of marching maneuvers on the ground. The mass band will march forward to the tune for Veer Gurkha. And in the meanwhile, braving the chill of the winter, the crowd is thrilled, very appreciative. Of course, it should be because this is one of the finest ceremonies they will ever visit. As the sun is receding on the horizon, crimson is splashed on the the far sky and we can see the mute Rashtrapati Bhavan witnessing this grand ceremony and the army band, the, the crimson color of the army band is now merging with the entire mass and they are waiting to move forward after the fanfare him giri. Army Chief and the Naval Chief witnessing the ceremony. Watching the performance and the crowd simply thrilled, especially the children. That is a fanfare, Himgiri, composed by Subadar Sham Bahadur. Turi Nath Himgiri, Subadar Major Sham Bahadur Dwara Rajithun. Veer Gurkha, a quick march composed by Shri L.P. Guru. तेज चाल में वीर गोर खादून एलबी गुरुंग द्वारा रचित The drummers of the mass band will now fall in from the planks and come and form an inverted beat in front of the president.
drums now will rejoin the main drums onto their own feet. Major Mansaram is now taking his place on the rostrum and he will conduct Abide With Me, a hymn composed by Jamuid Hong. And this hymn will be echoed with a bell atop the North Block. Abide With Me, Stuti Geek. W. H. Mong Dwara Rachit, Ye Madhur Dhun. That was Abide With Me. The so dear Mahatma Gandhi. The buglers will now sound the retreat and national flag will be lowered.
the buglers sounded their retreat and the national flag has been lowered everybody has stood to attention amongst the spectators the president has given the permission for the band to march off and major mansaram marches off the formation now With this, the entire mass marches off from Vijay Chowk on the famous tune Sari Jahasi Achha, composed by E. Dhoban. As the band marches back, it is as if all the prevailing darkness will draw the colourful tapestry of the band into its fold. The pensive spectators, fully appreciative of the receding tune, the notes of Sare Jahasi Achha fading into the void in front of us, and there is a strange hush and a silence all over. And we are waiting, the crowd is waiting for something special to happen as if. And, and as the band continues to recede, we are all reminded of the famous tunes in honor of the fallen braves on the decent battles and the battles far away. We continue to wait, the army, the, and then there is a hush and a sudden splash of color, the gold. Parliament House, Rashtrapati Bhavan, North Block, South Block and all the 16 buildings all around have suddenly been lit up as once. A thousand bewildered faces have burst into smile and there was a throng, a happiness from the crowd as if the heavens above have blessed the Republic of India. That is the lovely sight of India Gate and we can watch the crowd which has gathered to witness this beautiful and haunting ceremony have, are getting the sound of the music far away. Sare Jahasi Achha can still be heard and of course these are a million lights atop these buildings, a beautiful splash of gold all around. Sare Imarte Roshni se naha gai. Hamare yaha suraj asp to hota hai lekin yaha ki raatein bhi daidip piman hoti hai. Raatein ujiyari hoti hai. Kyunki hamne andhere mein raasta khoja hai. ये झिल मिलाती स्वर्ण रोशनी हमें स्वाधीनता सेनानियों और देश की रक्षा में शहीद हुए जवानों की याद दिलाती है मखदम मोहिनुद्दीन की नज्म कहती है मोम की तरह जलते रहे हम शहीदों के तन रात भर झिल मिलाती रही ज्योति देश के अरुणोदय की रात भर जगमगाता रहा चांद तारों का बन
as the national anthem has ended, Colonel Mully orders the president's bodyguard to form in a formation which will escort the president of India from Vijay Chowk to Rashtrapati Bhavan. Very well coordinate, coordinated and very well timed. And this is the site of the North Block and the far away Parliament, the Rashtrapati Bhavan, fully glowing, the stupas of Sachi, fully glowing in golden colour, the lights of the gold. Vice President, Defence Minister are now uh, greeting the President. The President is being escorted into, onto his limousine. This was indeed a very, very well timed and a beautiful ceremony. And Supreme Commander of the Indian Armed Forces, the President of India, must be a proud man to be heading such a massive force. That is the President's bodyguard once again. Now they will wheel in on both the sides and the car will be escorted up towards the Rajput. The crowd is waiting and watching the entire ceremony. And indeed, everybody has understood what the Republic of India is celebrating this time. This is the last ceremony of the Republic Day celebration, speech and retreat in the honor of the Indian Armed Forces. इस समापन के साथ ही गणतंत्र दिवस समारोह समाप्त हुआ लेकिन खास बात यह है कि हमारी उमंग हमारा उत्साह कभी खत्म नहीं होते गणतंत्र दिवस की विदाई अगले साल और आने वाले अगले सालों तक नए आयामों को स्थापित करने का संदेश देकर जा रही है प्रधानमंत्री श्री अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी के ही शब्दों में बाधाएं आती हैं तो आए घिरे प्रलय की घोर घटाएं निज हाथों से हंसते हंसते आग लगाकर जलना होगा कदम मिलाकर चलना होगा कदम मिलाकर चलना होगा आज यही प्रेरणा देकर गणतंत्र दिवस समापन समारोह समाप्त हुआ इसी के साथ मैं मनीषा दुबे अपने साथी कमेंट्रेटर विंग कमांडर प्रफुल बख्शी के साथ आपको वापस दूरदर्शन के स्टूडियो ले चलते हैं जय हिंद